emphasis here. By the way, this is not a points race here tonight. Matt Tanner driving the number 90. Matt is out of Stephentown, New York. Dave Ax Axton out of Port Byron, New York. Will be on the inside of the last row. And keep your eye on Denny Peebles in the number three out of Lowellville. Denny was very fast here in the warm-up laps. And he is also a veteran runner with these Empire Super Sprints. Oh my gosh, listen to the horsepower in those engines as they growl by. And folks, I hope you're getting a whiff of that methanol they're burning in these cars. That's one of the best perfumes you're ever going to smell. Sprint cars have it, super modifieds have it. Basically, really fast race cars burn that stuff. We've got six cars. What's going through their minds? They're racing on a very different surface tonight. They're here on the asphalt, and here they come. And their first heat for the Kevin Ward Memorial race tonight. And trouble already going into the turn, and they all saved it. They're used to this stuff as Kelly Heaving gets a quick lead. Oh, look at him throw that car sideways into turn number three as the number 90 of Matt Tanner has moved up into the third place spot. Matt Tanner, fearless out there. Peebles and Axton are stuck in the back right now. There goes Axton to the outside, and he's going to try and get that spot away as he moves up to the fourth place spot. All alone up front, it is Kelly Heaving out of Ontario. Big lead for her, coming off a of turn number four. Next is the 75 of Tommy Wickham, and then the 90. So we've got one car way up front, and then we've got three cars battling for the second place spot. Meanwhile, all alone, it is Kelly Heaping running away from the rest of the field. The 75 of Tommy Wickham, pretty fond of slapping that car sideways as he goes through the turn. 13.08 for Kelly Heaving. That is a fast lap for her. That is the fastest lap we've seen here tonight. Halfway home, Kelly Heaving. Five laps to go as Brad Berry gives the cross flags. The number 90 of Matt Tanner. One car length back of the 75 of Tommy Wickham. Looked like he's trying to get a little closer there. Kelly Heaven crosses, and it is 13.14 that time for her. The laps wind down here in heat number one, and way up front is Kelly Heaven in the number 10 H. Got a battle here for the second spot, the number 75, Wickham. And Matt Tanner, after moving up through the field, looks like he was going to put a move on the 75 of Tanner, but he has not been able to go any quicker. And now the number two, uh, Dave Axton, looks to be trying to get into the action. Two laps to go for Kelly Heaving. She has dominated this one from the minute the green flag dropped. And Dave Axton almost getting to the inside of the 90 of Matt Tanner. Just ran out of room. The white flag is out for Kelly Heaving. And already in just 10 laps, Kelly Heaving coming up on the lap traffic here. As a checkered flag flies and a half a lap victory for Kelly Heaving in the number 10. Tommy Wickham running second, Matt Tanner third in the number 90, Dave Axton fourth in the number two, Denny Peebles fifth, and the 23 of Tyler Cartier, the rookie driver, keeps it together for a sixth place spot out there. Tyler is from Mexico.
Inside of row number one, Dylan Swernick out of Port Leiden, New York in the 7C. Dylan will be starting on the outside of row number one. Row number two, driving the number 36. He won the race here in 2004, August the 12th to be exact. Would have been on the dirt back then. That is Kyle Moffat. Kyle Moffat in the number 36. Scott Holcomb in the number 91 out of Granby, Connecticut. Scott is on the outside of row number two. Sean Donath in the number 53 out of South Onondaga, New York. Sean having a great year also in the top five in points. And Matt Prescott, the rookie driver out of Bloomville, New York. He will be on the outside side of the last row, row number three. Six more drivers, 12 more laps. We'll see just how dominant the number 10 can be here tonight. Kelly Hebing just waltzing away with that first win and the first heat win in the first race. That first lap is a hairy one. A lot of these drivers feel like if they're going to move up, they're going to have to do it quick. You don't win the race on the first lap, but you sure do increase your chances. They all know that. So what are they thinking now as they get ready to turn them loose at the starting line right here? Not a good start for the 10 of Cook, and the green flag stays out, and the 53 of Sean Donath finds himself on the grass, and now we get a caution. Number 7C of Sh Dylan Swernick jumped on it in a hurry. Now they're going to have to do it all over again. Folks, I can't tell you how pleasant this is. I watched the dirt sprint cars out at Knoxville, Iowa for four days last week. I come back here to New York, and lo and behold, the sprint cars are running on the asphalt here at Evans Mills Raceway Park. Can't be any luckier than that. Jeff Cook and Dylan Swernick in the front row are going to try it again and again. Dylan Swernick has got some kind of rabbit in that machine as he jumps out front. There goes the 91 of Scott Holcomb. Holcomb takes over second, and now Jeff Cook finally gets the wheels under him. Cook settles back to third as the 36 of Kyle Moffat back in the fourth place spot. Here comes Swernick. Dylan Swernick with the lead in the 70 or in the 7C, but he is not running away. The number 91 of Scott Holcomb is closing in as they come around to complete lap number two. 13-6-3 that time for Dylan Swernick. So Swernick and Holcomb, the class of the field in this one, and now Swernick's got a little bit more room. And then it is Holcomb in the number 91, Jeff Cook in the number 10, Kyle Moffat back there in the 36, and Sean Donath in the number 53. Lap traffic already a factor. As Swernick moves up and past the number 22 of Matt Prescott. And that leaves room for the 91. Scott Holcomb just was looking down below and almost got by Swernick. And you can bet the number 91 of uh, Scott Holcomb is feeling it right now. Swernick knows he's got company. The two cars up front battling it out for the top spot. Four laps to go. Swernick's times are getting a little bit slower as Holcomb looks in there again, has to run up onto the berm. Dylan Swernick's not going to give him any room. Now they hit the line dead even as Scott Holcomb takes over the lead in the number 91. And it looks like the number 7C of Dylan Swernick having a little bit of fun with the brakes on that car. As now that Scott Holcomb is in front, he has turned up the wick. The number 91 is starting to pull away. Scott Holcomb just waiting for his chance to get by. Coming off a of turn four, two laps to go for Holcomb. Clearing the lap car of Matt Prescott. Prescott out of Met or Bloomville, New York. Holcomb from Granby, Connecticut. White flag for Holcomb. Blistering time for Holcomb. One more lap to go, and that will be the end of the heat racing tonight for the Empire Super Sprints. 
and Scott Holcomb in the number 91 is your winner. Willem Swernick finishing second. Jeff Cook third, Kyle Moffat fourth in the 36, Sean Donath in the 53, he'll finish fifth, and Matt Prescott finishing in the sixth place spot. We had a lap time of 13.17 for Scott Holcomb, just a couple of ticks off of what Kelly Holcomb ran, so... 